Yo, what's going on, guys? Nashra here, and today we have the biggest piece of NHL 21 news that we have had so far, the revamped Be A Pro. Now, EA has been hyping up Be A Pro for the last couple months, but so far, we have not seen a single piece of actual gameplay. Today, we are getting our first look at Be A Pro in the brand new story mode. You guys know, right when NHL 21 drops, we will be returning with Rostislav Nashrov, and this trailer is what's to come, so let's go Go ahead and jump on into this thing there's four different sections in this be a pro trailer so i'll go ahead and play a section pause it react and break it down for you guys and then we will move on let's get into this thing in three two one in nhl 21 we're excited to introduce our overhaul be a pro experience alex ovechkin's career changed the league with his passion and style of play and in NHL 21, make the same impact as you pave your own career and decide how your legacy will be remembered when it's all said and done. Our main focus for this mm. year's Be A Pro was to improve the strategy mm. throughout the entire okay. experience. To make you feel like you're a player in the NHL. And like any player's career, it all stems from your performance and your relationships on and off the ice. The first thing I want to mention is the recognized future page. So with Be A Pro, you're going to have three different options. You can either start directly in the NHL, start in juniors, or start over in Europe. And I believe they're going to have different kind of stories and progression as you go. I like how you actually get to see your created Be A Pro more. Here you see him in the draft. There's a nice little picture of him that pops up. In NHL 20 and all the games prior, it literally just said drafted by the New Jersey Devils. And that is literally it. So cool that we finally get a little extra. Other than that, we saw some pretty cool cutscenes, but much more of that to come. Let's get into the next part. All new so this is the new system. conversation You'll have hundreds system. of conversations throughout your Be A Pro career, leading to thousands of different options, outcomes, and legacies for your pro. She came in ready, she came in hungry to want a spot. All conversations so affect on your ice, off ice, in three practice. different ways. Teammate, management, and brand. And your likability affects how it? you're treated both on and off the ice. If you agree to go out on the town with your teammates, you'll see an uptick in your teammate likeability and more passes on the ice. Or you may choose to make a brash comment to the media, which in turn builds your brand. But your management might not like that. It's all a balancing act as you weigh your options to succeed in your career. Okay, let's go ahead and pause it there. This is actually getting pretty interesting. So there's a new conversation aspect within Be A Pro. How you talk to management, the media, and your teammates is going to impact how you play on the ice. First things first, can someone explain to me how this car is going to impact your Be A Pro? I can't wait to see how that is implemented. Hopefully we see it later on, but uh, that's pretty funny nonetheless. I think this screen here is kind of giving us the best summary of everything that we have. So it looks like after each each game or after each interview you're gonna have a few different things that you kind of have to balance between your brand the management and your teammates as your teammate like ability goes up maybe you're helping them off the ice having conversations with them they will then pass you the puck more on the ice so it's good to see this isn't just some random menu thing like it actually has an impact on how your pro is going to perform the example that they use is your teammates invite you to go out that then brings up your teammate like ability but management is upset because you're skipping practice or whatever it may be the only other thing i'll say is i can guarantee you rusty is going to be making some pretty interesting comments to the media so stay tuned for that Depending all right on let's the keep rolling of the conversation you can make two types of promises a safe promise or a star promise a safe promise will help build rapport with teammates and management slowly, and the adverse effect of breaking that promise will be low. Star promises are confident, more risky propositions that help build your brand outside okay. of the rank, allowing you to acquire more endorsement deals for cash to buy personal gyms, oh luxury my. houses, oh and more. These external perks aren't just for vanity, though. Nah, nah, nah. We gotta pause it there. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is getting crazy here. So as you get bigger and better contracts, maybe as you build your brand to the media, you then can buy different vehicles and properties that somehow are incorporated into the game. This here may be the biggest stretch in all of this Be A Pro. So it says if you buy the SUV, you are then going to have plus one passing and plus one speed on the... What, what is happening, dude? With the different houses you can buy, it looks like with the apartment, you get social media followers. So there's going to be some sort of social aspect as well as those specialization points to make your player better. While all that may seem a little bit ridiculous, I think the general concept is good. So we saw Kale McCarr send us a text. We made him a promise. I said, I'm going to get 
and assist and get our team the win so if we complete that we then gain our teammate like ability but you also have the chance to go for those over promises so maybe scoring three goals in one game something that's outlandish but that's going to get you huge perks if you're able to complete it and of course why not buy the rolex or some modern furniture keep going star both every risk comes a reward or a consequence. They see that there are times like every young player, there's ups and downs. If you make a bold promise and don't deliver, you'll be negatively impacted on all your likability meters. But if you do deliver, your legacy will only grow. Cool. So overall, it just looks like there's going to be many challenges that are presented to you from the media, from management, and from your teammates. You then have the chance to accept those challenges or go above and beyond and over promise on those challenges. And that's going to impact, again, the likability, your money earned from endorsements, and how your teammates treat you on the ice. So I'm interested to see how all those things kind of work together. But overall, I'm liking what I'm seeing. In the real NHL, your pro will have to react and rise to the occasion in response to an in game event. The coach will okay, tap your shoulder so on the bench and give scenes. you a contextual goal to accomplish in that game. They might challenge you to bury one on the man advantage, or maybe they'll want you to set the tone early with pucks on net and a few big hits. Whatever the coach asks of you, if you manage to pull it off, your star will rise, and soon you'll find yourself with top line ice time. Okay, so now we see how we're going to work our way through the lineup and become the superstar that we want to be. The coach is going to issue challenges on the ice, on the bench, and in the locker room that we then have to instantly do that next shift. In this example, you see coach say, we're sitting on a late lead in the game. Let's shut them down and bring home the win. And you have a couple different options. You can be the team player, sit back, play solid defense, and lock down. Or you can go for that superstar approach, score the game winner, and end it right then, right right there it sounds like these in-game challenges can be rather simple like maybe getting two shots on net or something extremely difficult like trying to score a hat trick so lots of different opportunities there it's cool to see a little cutscene action going on specifically in the game as well and honestly this is gonna make recording be a pro videos very very fun let's see what this final portion is Season stories are the broader storylines throughout your career that will contextually affect the types of conversations you're having nice. and the chatter around you. We'll likely get voted on at the Calder Trophy at the end of the year. Whether you choose to start your career in mm. Europe or you're expected to put up a 50-goal season in your prime, these stories will play out and make up the biggest moments of your pro's career. Performance as the rookie lays claim to the cons. That's the same Stanley Cup With celebration. strategy, an all-new conversation system, and the addition of story moments. NHL 21's overhaul Bio Pro mode is the most in-depth and authentic experience to date. So step on the ice and experience what it feels like to play in the NHL and change the future of the league. Wow. Alright, everything that I saw there, aside from the same Stanley Cup celebration we've had the last 10 years, EA, please, I beg, change it. Okay, but for real though, these cutscenes are actually sick, man. The one of the locker room shot and you see Niles there staring out onto the rink, that is nasty. Yeah, these cutscenes are actually pretty dope, man. We see locker room, the GM office, we're talking to management, we're by the Zamboni and our boy Bum into us imagine the drama i'm really curious to see how this actually impacts be a pro i'm a little worried that maybe it'll get somewhat repetitive if it's the same actions again and again but from what we've seen it looks like there's really endless options and opportunities to change how be a pro is played we also see a more authentic european arena which may be a pretty cool start for be a pro maybe we take rusty overseas play in Europe for a couple years, and then come over to the NHL. We'll just have to wait and see. This is without a doubt the best trailer of NHL 21 so far because everything that we saw in this was brand new. This isn't stuff that they took from previous years and added in. We're talking brand new cutscenes, brand new opportunities. I absolutely loved what I saw, especially with Rostislav Nashrov and what we can do to have fun with that series. You guys know me. I'm generally more of an online multiplayer guy, but this be a pro dude this looks like something special i guess we won't know till we actually hop in and have the chance to play it but this is for sure going to be one of the biggest features that we see in nhl 21 i'm hoping this is just the beginning for be a pro i know it's been neglected for the last like 10 years it feels like now it has finally got a proper revamp for us to enjoy you know i'll be critical when we got to be critical but honestly i gotta give it to ea this trailer was very well done the features look pretty solid 
and I'm looking forward to hopping in to be a pro here in NHL 21. So I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of the new and improved be a pro. If you guys did, if you found this helpful, make sure you hit the video with the like. Of course, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 500,000 subscribers and we are very close to the release of NHL 21 where we will be uploading daily videos. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one and peace.